Handling Input and Output File Names. Let's open the Python interpreter and look at some of the functionality of the OS and GLOB modules. The OS module provides several functions that have to do with the operating system on which Python is running. Get CWD can provide the current working directory. If we set the output of get CWD to a variable and then pass that variable to os.listdir, we can obtain a list of all of the files inside this directory in this case our working directory, which is our current directory. Glob provides another way to get a list of file names. I can use a pattern just like we might use with a bash command in order to get a list of files that matches that pattern. So let's say file names. We want to store in file names the list of all files ending in TSV. Let's say we want an absolute path for each one of these file names. We can use os.path.join to join together the working directory and the file name. I'm not going to execute that command because I have nothing stored to file name. Instead, let's do a list comprehension which renames or resets the value of file names. So OS path join join together the path of the working directory and the file name and remember the file name is simply a value in our list of file names which we got by using the glob module. So now instead of 3 TSV etc. we have the working directory 3TSV. We could also have manipulated these file names as strings but by using the os.path.join module in fact by using the os module to get the working directory we got a path name that was sensitive to the operating system on which we're working. In other words, if we were working on a Windows machines, 
all of these forward slashes would be backslashes. And the OS module would know that we're working on a Windows machine and provide backslashes instead of forward slashes. This is one way in which the OS module can be very useful, such that we don't have to worry about whether we're working on Windows, Linux, or Mac. Let's take a look at some scripts which use the functionalities we just examined. Let's first look at catdata.py. We import OS and glob, we get the working directory, and we get a list of file names, TSV, just as we did in the interpreter. We're now going to come up with an output file name by joining the working directory with a file called output.tsv. We'll open that output file name, and for every file name in the TSV list, we open that file name, we'll read the text from that file name, and we'll write that text. So we're outing, we're writing the output of several TSV files into a single TSV file. What we didn't do was look at the contents of each individual TSV file. As you can see, each TSV file contains a list of entries, last name, first name, and an ID number. So we've simply catted one TSV, two TSV and three TS TSV together into one file. Let's look at tabs to commas.py. This script is useful if we want to change a tab separated value file, a TSV file, into a comma separated value file, CSV. We import OS and glob. We get the working directory and a list of file names. We'll get the absolute value of each file name this time. We don't have to do this as we saw in the previous script, but it's nice in case your working directory is not the current directory. For each file name, We'll come up with a base using this method called split text. And split text returns the path name of file name minus the extension. So the value of base is the file name up until the dot tsv. We're stripping the dot tsv from each file. Value zero is that base and at index 1 after the split is .tsv. So we're going to create an output file name by concatenating the base that we just obtained and add csv. So basically we're changing the extension from tsv to csv. So this is a useful strategy. Each time you want to create an output file that is related to a certain input file and the only thing you want to be different between the file names of the input file and the output file are the extension. We open up the output file and the input file. We get the text. 
we read the text, we replace the, inside the text, we replace each instance of a tab with a comma. We don't need to print the text. And then we output the text to the output file. We write the text to the output file. And here's some other stuff I left in here for debugging, but we don't need it. I should have taken that out. Just ignore it. Okay. We do tabs to commas. There's all that output that we don't need to pay attention to. And now we have several comma separated value files. And as you can see, all the tabs have been replaced with commas. And this can be useful if you have a program, a toolkit, some piece of software that handles comma-separated values well, but not tab-separated values. I can't think of one, but in general, if you wanted to change the formatting of your text, uh, this would be a very simple way to do it in Python.